So here we want to calculate the flux density using the information that they've given us. And we know from the last video that the equation that we want to use is J for flux density equals the concentration times velocity. Okay, so we have the velocity right here and we have phosphorus concentration here. So pretty straightforward to calculate the flux density. So we'll go ahead and do that here. J equals the river velocity. Whoops. River velocity, 83 cm per second times 0 0.2 milligrams per liter. Okay, so first thing to notice here is that centimeters and liters do not match units, so we need to convert the liters into centimeters cubed, which is easy enough to do with the information that we have up here. So we know one liter equals a thousand centimeters cubed. Then you can see that these centimeters cancel out, the liters cancel out, and we end up with centimeters squared, or an area. So then we end up with the right units, and when we multiply all of these numbers out, we end up with essentially 1.7 times 10 to the negative 2 milligrams per area centimeters squared times seconds. And that is it.